Hey guys, Big E, and welcome to another Fallout 4 Webjack mod. Let's quickly look at this time. We have Atomic Warfare by Rage. Rage being the author of the Skyrim mod list, Fable Lore, which we are currently doing a run on, as well as Wasteland Prospects for Fallout New Vegas. And this is going to be a good one because this is a very awesome mod list that pays homage to uh, people who have played previous Fallout titles and it adds a lot of immersion and role play features as all of Rage's lists do, as well as, I'm not sure what that beeping noise was. Was that like an alarm or something? Um, but also it adds a lot of new content and is the level just like Fable Lore, which adds for a really fun experience and I'll explain why. We have a couple presets here. Uh, Nate and Jacob, I'll go with Nate, why not? Let's go with that and uh, you guys will see in just a second there are uh, a lot of cool uh, customization features for starting up your character and that's why I wanted to show this bit instead of just hopping out of the vault right away or something because there is a lot of stuff here so we'll give it a second there for everything to load up and then we'll hop in but yeah this is a uh, version 1.19.0 it's a, about a 68 gigabyte for the install folder. So roughly twice that for both the uh, install and the downloads if you're playing on one drive. At about 546 plugins, of which 212 are ESP slash ESMs, you're not going to have too much space to add your own stuff to it. But honestly, you're not going to want to because this mod list already adds so much for you. It uh, touches up on most aspects of the game, as we can see here, just with the visuals alone. Let's, uh, so I can choose, uh, this is only a dream I need to wake up. Basically, the world will treat you as if you're not a, uh, as if you weren't in the vault. Uh, this is a memory. I don't want to relive this. This is a memory. Let's say, well, this goes through the vanilla sequence. Uh, this will uh, get us going in the vault. Um, but if it was a dream... Uh, you can choose some additional options. Let's do, let's do this. Let's wake up in the uh, vault so that we can see some classic stuff, as well as have an easy entry point to sanctuary. So uh, let's do that. That is very very bright. <coughs> so obviously you're going to have a lot of uh, bug fixes, things like that, some performance stuff for uh, just the typical mods that you would expect in any Fallout 4 mod list. But a big feature are the new lands that this adds because this adds Project Mojave, which adds part of New Vegas that you're able to travel to, as well as Fallout 4 Point Lookout. If you guys have played Fallout 3, you might be familiar with Point Lookout. I didn't need to change my keybinds because uh, this does have the... Um, it does have a, uh, whatchamacallit, you can uh, lean, as we can see here. I want to change my activate key. Let's see, um, activate, let's make it F, and then favorites. Uh, not sure what I want my favorites to be, P? Or why not P? Oh, it's still leaning. Oh, wait, because of course it's leaning because I just changed my thing. All right, let's get started. So, uh, yeah, Fallout uh, 4, Point Lookout, you're able to replay that DLC essentially within Fallout 4. Let's go for just a balanced generic build. Let's just go with 4 and everything. Why not? Oh, not sure what I did there. Did I click no on accident? There we go. Uh, enter health history. So you can actually add traits, uh, unique traits. So like I said, if you're familiar with previous Fallout games, like uh, Gifted will get you a plus two of each special stat, but gain experience at half the normal rate. Honestly, that sounds pretty good to me. That sounds pretty good to me. Um, Good-natured, uh, 
you know, you reduce damage. That sounds awful, so I'm not going to go with that. Trigger discipline, fire more slowly, but are more accurate. Honestly, I'm a big fan of that. Let's go with there. Let's open that. The, yeah, I mean, let's, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Like I said, pays homage to older Fallout games. Now, to go along with Project Mojave, as well as uh, Point Lookout, there are lore-friendly creature additions that you'll be able to encounter in the Wasteland. So, uh, a lot of the creatures from the previous titles you'll be able to find in your travels. And, yeah, I mean, just uh, watch out for uh, New Vegas bugs. I'll uh, I'll put that message out there very cryptically. Bring some uh, something to deal with poison. Now, given that it's deleveled, it might be in some regards a little bit harder, but there are some tweaks to kind of get rid of the bullet sponginess of enemies. So think about it as uh, you'll probably do more damage to certain enemies, but they will also do more damage to you. Um, I don't know if it's fair to call it a super hardcore list. I don't, I mean, it might be for some people, but I think really it just aims to um, give you a meaningful sense of progression. Giant roaches? What the oh, that's the noise for uh, as we enter different safe areas. It'll, it'll tell you in the corner if the, uh, what level the area is. But it said we're in a level one area. We're safe. That's good. See, so yeah, like I said, meaningful sense of progression. You'll you'll feel yourself getting stronger as the game progresses. You won't feel that everything is just following you along in level, and the game difficulty just stays the same. So if you do like that feature, then this might be a good little list for you. Now, on top of all that, you're going to have a lot of new modern weapon additions as well as a lot of new armors. And we'll see those more once we uh, exit out of here. And then you'll have updated mechanics. I mean, look at that. That's a nice little, uh, that's a nice little model for the, uh, whatchamacallit. What happened here? Where is everyone? Let's uh, open this tunnel. Now, if the e and this is the optional E and B, you can tweak this as you'd like. Uh, get rid of those lens flares and things like that. And it's optionally enabled. You know what? We don't even need a bobby pin when we can just do that. We can just do that. Hell yeah. There we go. Get a laser pistol. Oh, yeah. Let's we'll check out some of the uh, sounds and everything, but I promise you it will be good. I can't yet. Oh, actually, let me turn on God mode. Just because we'll, um, we'll kind of want to just use up a bunch of ammo, not spend time dying, things like that, for testing purposes, not because I'm bad at Fallout. Although I am. As you can tell, as I, um, Tried shooting the pit boy instead of the rad roach. Uh, there's no sim settlement, but there are some quality of life settlement features added, like workshop plus, and then you have a lot of added uh, workshop packs or a lot of custom things that you can place in your settlements. So just keep that in mind. No sim settlements. A lot of people don't like sim, sim settlements. I personally kind of have uh, mixed feelings about it. And here's another thing. Here's another thing. There are skills again. You have skills just like you had in the old game. So I can raise pistols, rifles, uh, hacking, gunsmith, whatever you want. I will raise... Uh, let's raise our weapon skills. We'll call it good. 
I want to check out this laser pistol. Very cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, this is meant to be played on survival mode. You can optionally choose not to. But I think it's actually pretty fun to play on survival mode. And it's not like a grueling, grueling, super grueling survival where uh, you can't really... Uh, where it's your entire focus. It just kind of uh, adds to it. I think, you know, as much as I don't like playing survival mode in uh, Skyrim, I actually enjoy playing it in Fallout. I think Fallout is just a better world for survival mode. That's just me. I think it might be something to do with just how loot is distributed and everything and just kind of the atmosphere. You are surviving a post-apocalyptic wasteland after all. Instead of just kind of a, uh, you know, Skyrim things. Now the other big gameplay thing is you have the damn apocalypse mod with all of the modules, which is going to uh, let's exit the vault, which is going to overhaul a lot of things regarding the loot distribution, the economy. It's going to make rads harder. I mentioned bullet sponges are not going to be as prevalent, uh, and uh, things are going to be unleveled. So make sure to check that mod page out. I'll link the mod list uh, load order down below. And then you have things like We Are the Minutemen to overhaul the Minutemen faction. Uh, you do have Crime and Punishment. You can read through this. It essentially, I'll manually enable it later. Uh, we'll inject uh, easy mode. Why not? Um, but basically, it's going to give you a system of pacifying NPCs. I didn't enable it for now. And here's a backpack uh, thing. Spawn rate, whatever. And take some things here. Oh, look at this. These visuals are very nice. All right, let's head on over to Sanctuary. Uh, also look at the the map you have a pretty uh little updated map looks a little bit more uh detailed than the vanilla map looks like you'll have some additional locations scattered throughout as well like i said uh hopefully we get some new uh armors things like that as you can sell, tell as we're running around some uh Added little animations for immersion. Now look at the, the ground textures and everything like that. They look sharper, more detailed. I'm going to skip Codsver Codsworth. I almost called him Codsworth. Codsworth. Definitely has a vibrant hue to it. Which I know Rage is a big fan of. It does look nice though, it makes the colors pop. I don't mind this at all. The wasteland itself looks a little bit more uh, lush. A little less desolate, depressing. Drifter outfit, mongrel. I'm gonna skip uh, dog meat too, to be honest with you. Let's just go straight over to Concord and fight some bandits. Uh, you do also have uh, true damage. So aim for the head. Headshots should do more damage, typically. Oh my god. As I said, new little enemies. Jeez. Giant Mantis. Oh, yeah, let's use the cryolator. 
We do have this. It's honestly been a second since I've actually used this thing. Let's head on over here. And then go over to Diamond City, hopefully. Pick out some NPCs. Oh my god. This thing does work. I have honestly not used this weapon in forever. Looks like the effects are different than what I remember. It's kind of like a, uh, a fog machine. Kind of funny. So as we can see, we're, uh, the UI is going to be updated too. So we'll make everything look more clean. We do have some added armors here and there, which uh, kind of fit in with the world, make it a little bit more immersive. This is my key to change views. Uh, control, oh, mouse five. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why I was not expecting the armor to look like this. I was not expecting that at all. What about the Badlands armor? Okay, that looks better. Pretty clean. Pretty clean, not gonna lie. So, uh... And then it'll show you your arrival date when you fast travel. Let's not care about Mr. Preston. And I'll open up the perk menu too, because uh, there is a perk overhaul, Be Exceptional, which uh, will make perks m a little bit more meaningful. And uh, let's see. These will also be kind of... Uh, the UI for the perks is going to be, like I said, more familiar to people who have played older games like New Vegas and whatnot. They have a lot more perks to choose from, which I think is pretty good for uh, for uh, Fallout 4. Because Fallout 4 perks are just kind of meh. And I honestly think this is easier to look at than looking at the uh, giant tree of perks. This is pretty cool. Some of these are going to be obviously uh, vanilla. Then every level you're going to also have your uh, skills that you can raise. So, Lone Wanderer. When traveling alone with a close friend, take 15% less damage. Sure, why not? Just uh, get our perks up there. They go up to level 100. And we are good. Look at Diamond City. Very gorgeous. Alright, so who do I think this mod list is for and who it isn't for? Well, honestly, I think, uh, as I pointed out before, this mod list is going to... Okay, I was falling or jumping? Uh, I think this mod list is going to appeal very much to people who have played uh, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, for example, and kind of felt a little bit scammed by Bethesda when there was like no roleplay features in Fallout 4. And don't get me wrong, I love Fallout 4. It has great uh, gunplay, great uh, customization options, a great world. But I did miss the roleplay stuff and this modless adds it back in. You might not like it if you um, are looking for something that sticks Closer to vanilla in terms of the gameplay itself. But honestly, I would definitely give this a try. You're going to have a lot of cool things to explore. A lot of vibrant graphics. 
there are different uh, performance profiles. So if you think you can't handle it, and like I said, the ENB is optional. So make sure to check it out. Uh, let me know if you guys would like a playthrough of this because uh, I think I will eventually do one anyway. Uh, I want to eventually have kind of probably a Fallout Fridays sort of thing. So maybe this will be one of the contestants for uh, my first playthrough series. Unless we do New Vegas or, or something, but we'll, we'll see. In the meantime, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. There's a great looking mod list and I really appreciate all the work that Rage has done. Because, man, uh, it's, it's a very unique experience bringing all this stuff back in that I dearly missed. And now it's back in to Fallout 4, making it quite close to uh, a perfect Fallout game, in my opinion, obviously. Obviously, uh, there is no best mod list or anything like that, but I quite enjoy this one. I mean, really, um, there's not a whole lot of Fallout 4 mod lists out there. And, uh, you know, the, the ones that there, there are, there's a reason I've made videos on them already because uh, there's a lot of different ways to experience Fallout 4. I, uh, somebody mentioned that they, there doesn't seem to be a lot of options for Fallout 4 mod lists, but they play so much differently from one another. So uh, I'd recommend trying to play test each of them, seeing which one best suits you. This is obviously going to be geared towards role players Provide a little bit of a challenge here and there and add a ton of new content. So check it out. Hopefully this video was helpful and I will catch you guys next time.